All right then guys, first of all, hello and welcome. For those of you who haven't trained with me before, my name's Joe, Head of Fitness at Core Collective and Team Fresh Fitness Food. Today I'm gonna to be running you through a strength and conditioning session uh, consisting of four separate parts. We're gonna start off nice and slow, do two and a half, three minute stretch and mobility, and then get straight into a body weight flow just to prep and prime ourselves. We're then gonna go into part A, which is a nine minute EMOM. We then have two eight minute E2 MOMs where we're gonna be cranking up the intensity very slightly. So without further ado, I need you to find a little bit of space in front of you. Uh, we're gonna get straight into our stretch and mobility. For this, all you need is your pretty selves um, and your body weight. So for now, we're gonna start off by running your hands down your shins, touching your toes. Walk it all the way out until you find this high plank position and get straight into some shoulder taps, keeping that core super tight. Try to not let the hips rock around too much either side. After your next rep, we're gonna turn it into toe tap. So reach through, touch one side, get back over your wrists, touch the other, get back over wrist. Really punching that head and chest through, finding that end range, waking up those shoulders. After that next rep, hold that high plank again. We're gonna take a big step with your right foot outside that right hand. Release your right arm, opening up the chest. And then we take that elbow all the way down to big toe. Two more reps this side, so release it. Take it all the way down. Last and final rep, we're gonna twist a tiny bit further. Get that chest almost to the ceiling. And then we come down, hold five seconds. In four, three, two, one. Switching those legs, a big step with that left. Release that left arm, opening up the chest and then we take that elbow all the way down to big toe. Again, two more reps this side, so release. Take it all the way down. Last and final rep, we twist a tiny bit further. Get that chest to ceiling, and then we come down and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Back into that high plank position. Let your hips drop down to the ground. Untuck those toes, squeezing your glutes. Take a big look over your left shoulder, and then a big look over your right. Slowly back to center. We're now gonna lower your body down to the ground. Flick your toes underneath. Push the world away, keeping that body moving in one piece. And again, lower your body down. Quick release of those hands. Press the world away. Hips and chest should be lifting at the same time, keeping that core super tight. One more rep exactly the same. Lower the body down, quick release, and then press the world away. We're then gonna hit your downward dog. So chuck that head and chest through both of those hands. Once you get into this position, alternate paddling those heels back into the ground, feeling that stretch run all the way through the calves and hamstrings. And then we start exaggerating, seeing that movement slightly. Rock your weight back over your wrists. We're gonna hit that downward dog one more time. So chuck that head and chest through. Try and squeeze both short, uh, both heels into the ground this time and then continue to walk those hands all the way back into your feet touch your toes slowly roll up tall we're then going to hit some body weight squats so turn your toes out slightly chest up tall knees are going to track over your toes get that bum all the way below the knee crease and squeeze glutes as you stand up tall we're going to go for roughly five reps continue at this tempo on your next rep, we're gonna hold down at the bottom. Wiggle in, find this position, keep that core tight. Back is nice and flat. Grab your left toe, release your right arm, opening up the chest. Control back to center and switch. Control back to center and switch. Back to center and switch. Big drive up, finishing off with some reverse lunges, throwing those hands up above. Gently kissing the floor with the back knee. Trying to find that full range. Keeping it here for another couple of reps either side. Finishing off in roughly five seconds. In four, three, two, one. Resting, beautiful, quick little breather. We're gonna go straight into a body weight flow. Two rounds of three separate movements. Working for 30 seconds, resting. Short little 10 second rest in between. First movement, you're gonna go push up to a downward dog. So press, downward dog. Press up, 
down the dog. Once you complete 30 seconds of those, up to your feet, drop squats. Feet start together, drop and touch, drop, touch, drop, touch, drop. We then go prisoner lunges, hands behind the head, step forwards and down, back to center. Forwards and down, back to center. 30 seconds of each, 10 second quick little breather in between. Getting ready. We're gonna move in roughly seven seconds from now. So starting high plank position, push up to downward dog in four, three, two, one. Let's go, chest to floor, chuck that head through. Chest to floor, chuck that head through. You can do it either on your feet or on your knees. All right, 15 seconds down, 15 to go. Keep that tempo, keep that rhythm, no rush through any of these movements. We are still warming up. You've got five, four, three, two, one. 10 second breather to get up to your feet. We're then gonna go hit those drop squats. Five seconds from now. Feet start together in four, three, two, one. Let's go, so you drop, touch, drop, touch, drop, touch, drop. Trying to get that bum all the way below the knee crease. Keeping that chest up fairly proud. Knees track over those toes. We are already cruising over that halfway marker. 10 seconds from now. Last couple of reps, hold that pace, hold that tempo. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Resting, 10 seconds, we then go prisoner lunges in seven. Hands behind the head, we step forwards and down in three, two, one. Let's go, step forwards and down, back to center. Forwards and down, back to center. Gently kissing the floor with that back knee. Waking up those quads and glutes. 10 seconds down. Nice work, guys. All right, keeping it there for another seven. We go for six, five, four, three, two, one, 10 seconds to chill. All right, we go straight into a second round. So drop back down into that high plank position, ready for those push up into downward dog. Get set, we move. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, press up, hit that downward dog. Press up, hit that downward dog. Again, try and find that tempo, nothing too crazy. Really hitting those end ranges. We've got 15 seconds from now, 15 seconds. Beautiful work so far. Body feels nice and warm, ready to work. Five seconds, we go in four, three, two, one. 10 seconds to chill and find your feet. Drop squats coming your way, we go in five. Three, two, one, let's go. Touch and drop, touch and drop. Find that full range of motion. The speed is down on this movement. The speed is down. 10 down. Beautiful rhythm so far. No, this one spikes the heart rate, heart rate slightly. You've got 10 seconds to bear with me. Last couple of big reps in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10 second little chill. Last movement of this warm up phase. Prisoner lunges, ready to work in five. We go in three, two, one. Hands behind the head, forwards and down, back to center. Forwards and down, back to center. Again, find that full range of motion. Kissing the floor, gently kissing the floor with that back knee. 10 seconds down already. Cruising through that halfway marker. All right, finishing of th this warm-up off in style, you've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, breathe, compose, and rest. Um, we're going to have two minutes now, just whilst I talk you through part A of today. Part A, we're working with a nine-minute EMOM. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute, you will start a new movement. Working for 40 seconds, resting for 20. This, now you're gonna need a one set of medium to heavy dumbbells um, for your first movement. So, first move, we're gonna rack these uh, dumbbells up onto the shoulders. We're gonna go tempo dumbbell squats. So I want you to lowering phase for about three seconds. So three, two, 
One, once you hit just below knee crease, squeeze glutes, stand up tall. Straight back down for three, two, one, below knee crease, squeeze glutes, and then back into the third rep. Once you've completed those, we're gonna go deficit push-ups. Put the hands on the butts of the weights, high plank position, control the body all the way down, and press. Control the body all the way down, and press. Again, you can do these on your hands, uh, on your feet or on your knees. After those, we have a core movement, hollow body hold. You're gonna crunch your shoulder blades off, hands above the head, feet come at 45 degrees. You're squeezing your belly button down into the ground. There's no space between my lower back and the floor whatsoever. So you're gonna wrap through those three movements, three rounds through, 40 on, 20 rest in between each movement. So get yourself set and ready. We've got 20-ish seconds from now, and then we're uh, bang on that two minute rest um, from the warm up. Okay, 10 seconds. So dumbbells at the ready. We start off remembering the tempo is three seconds on the way down. Move it in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So rack those weights up. Three, two, one, and then you squeeze. So controlling that weight down. Bum below knees and squeeze. Bum below knee crease and squeeze. Beautiful work, guys. Nice. You just moved over that halfway marker. So 15 seconds remaining. Keep that tempo. Really feel those quads and glutes. Get those knees tracking over those toes. You've got seven seconds now. Last rep, maybe we go four, three, two, one. Resting, 20 seconds to chill. We're then gonna move into those deficit push-ups. So sort your weights out. If you don't have um, these hex weights and they're wobbling around, you can easily do them on the floor as well. You've got seven seconds and then we start. Remember nice tempo on these as well, full range. We go in four, three, two, one. Let's go, control that body down, thumbs to armpits, and then press the world away. Control the body down, thumbs to armpits, Press the world away. Beautiful work. Keeping that core beautifully tight. Always hitting that full range. Lovely start. Far right, just gone over that halfway again. 15 seconds from now. If your muscles get exhausted, I know these press ups get tough. Shake them off, go again. Shake them off, go again. Seven seconds now. Maybe time for one more. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Resting, beautiful stuff. You can then rock those weights out the way. 20 seconds rest. We're gonna go into that hollow body hold. This one does get tough. If your uh, body fatigues or your core fatigues and you feel it going to your lower back, just tuck the knees in and then get straight back to work. We're off in five, four, three, two, one. Come join me. Hollow body hold, you need to breathe through this movement. Squeeze the belly button down into the ground as hard as you can. Feet stay at 45 degrees. <laughs> yeah, keep that composure. This is where the, the fatigue's gonna kick in. Like I said, if it does feel like it's going into your lower back, just tuck those knees in and then get straight back to work. You've got 15 seconds from now. Okay, bear with me at this stage. 10 seconds and then we can shake it off. In seven, you go six, five, Four, three, two, one, resting. Beautiful, that's one full round down, two full rounds to go. So slowly, slowly back up to your feet. 15 seconds, we start back into those uh, tempo squats, those tempo dumbbell squats. Seven seconds, start flicking those weights up onto the shoulders. We move in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go down for three, two, one. Bum below knee crease and squeeze. Three, two, one, and squeeze. Three, two, one, squeeze. Lovely stuff. Now it's over to you guys. Just cruising over that 20 second marker. Keep that tempo, keep that control. Quads and glutes, we keep these, uh, these movements super strict, super controlled. Quality wins during this phase. Seven seconds now. Maybe time for one more, four, three, two, one, 
Resting, nice. Chuck those weights down on the ground again. Get ready for those deficit push-ups. Last set was perfect. Gonna feel slightly more fatigued on this round, so remember, please, if you feel um, it's getting too much, shake the hands off, straight back in there. Five seconds and we're off. All together, we start on the buzzer. Three, two, one, let go. Control the body down, thumbs to armpits if you can. Press away. At the bottom of this movement, the hands should be in line with the chest. Keeping those elbows nice and tucked in. Don't wanna let them flare out too much. Chest and hips, it's lifting at the same time. Chest and hips, they are lifting at the same time. 15 seconds only now, 15 seconds, bear with me. All right, 10 seconds, time for a couple more reps maybe. You've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, resting, nice. You can roll those weights out of the way. We're gonna get ready to start on that hollow body. We will all go together again. We've got 10 seconds and then we're moving. A set, so start slowly crunching those shoulder blades off. Hands come at 45 and then in three, two, one, feet at 45 degrees. Belly button is down into the ground. Squeeze it down there so, so hard. There is no space between the lower back and the floor whatsoever. Now the fatigue slowly starts to kick in. Remember, if you do need to reset, tuck the knees straight back in there. You've got 20 seconds remaining, 20 seconds. All right, 15 on the clock. Coming up to that last 10. Now we can hold it. Everybody up, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Resting, resting, resting. Nice. Two down, one more to go of this, um, of part A of today, of this nine minute EMOM. 15 seconds, we're starting back. Last set of each. So we're up onto our feet. Dumbbell squats, tempo squats. Start racking those weights up now. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go down for three, two, one. And squeeze down for three, two, one, squeeze, down, three, two, one, squeeze, down, three, two, one, squeeze. Over to you guys. 15 seconds now, 15 seconds. Keep that tempo, keep that control. You got 10 seconds. Breathing through those last couple of reps in seven. In five, four, three, two, one, resting, superb. Chuck those weights down onto the ground. Get ready for those deficit push-ups. 10 seconds to get the mind ready, get the mind right. Keep the control. I know the chest is exhausted at this, at this stage. Three, two, one, let's go. Control, control, control. Press away. Keep that control. Press away. Again, same te teaching points. Thumbs to armpits. Elbows tucked in. Body moves in one piece. 20 down, 20 to go. Enjoy the burn through these last couple of reps. We're going to speed things up in a part B and C. So really enjoy this tempo. You've got seven seconds from now. Five, four, three, two, one, resting. Well played. On your back, last time, hollow body hold. We'll all start together again. Then I'll hand over to you guys. 10 seconds and we are off. You wanna slowly start crunching the shoulder blades up now. Hands come above the head. Feet at 45, in three, two, one. Feet at 45, lower back down into the ground again. Breathe, breathe, breathe through this movement. 10 seconds down. Okay, coming up to that halfway marker. I know that core is squealing. 20 seconds, bear with me please. Almost there. 15, if you need to reset, knees in, straight back out. Everybody's up for the last 10 seconds. Everybody together. We finish strong in eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, 
Resting, resting, resting. Well played. All right, part A, done and done. Nine minute e mom, big tick. We're now going to move into two eight minute E2 moms. E2 mom stands for every second minute on the minute. We're going to be working for 90 seconds, resting for 30. In both of them, we've got three separate movements. The first two movements are going to be for reps. And the third movement is going to be for the remaining time until that 90 second marker, where obviously you then get uh, 30 seconds rest until you start the next round. Eight minutes we, means we're going to be doing uh, four rounds of each. The first one is slightly more strength based, and then the, the second one is a bit more gassy, just slightly. So the first one, we're going to start off, we're going to need the dumbbells for all of these movements. First movement is eight thrusters. So elbows are through, chest up tall, in a squat position, or feet at squat stance. Bump all the way down as you come up, punch the ceiling. Bump all the way down as you come up, punch that ceiling. So the momentum is from the legs. Eight repetitions. So as soon as you hit eight reps, we're gonna get into this um, hinge position, bent over rows. We're gonna squeeze for 12 repetitions. As soon as you hit the 12th rep, we can stand up tall. We're going to go do reverse lunges for the remaining time. So you're alternating legs every single rep. Again, similar to the prisoner lunges at the start, teaching points to get that full range. Gently kiss the floor with that back knee. So they're your th first three movements for this first eight minute E2 mom. Eight thrusters, 12 bent over rows. Lunges is for the remaining time until the 90 second marker. Everybody with me, just about. All right, guys, we're going to give you another 20 seconds uh, and then we'll get cracking. So part B, set and ready. Last little sips of water. Get your mind ready, get your mind right. Focus. 10 seconds from now, 10 seconds. Starting with those thrusters. Moving in. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So you hit eight thrusters. Eight thrusters. Keeping those heels down. The momentum comes from the legs. Lock out overhead. Once you've hit that eighth repetition, we're going to go into bent over rows. Hinge position, squeeze and breathe. Squeeze and breathe. Really try to pinch those shoulder blades at the top of that movement. That's it, guys. Nice. All the way to that twelfth repetition. Keeping that control. Remember, this is more of a strength-based one. As soon as you hit that 12th bent over row, you're into those reverse lunges. Farmer's carry, so weights by the sides. Step back and down. Step back and down. Gently kissing the floor with that back knee. Please try to find that full range of motion. Keep the weight over that front leg. That front glute is the muscle that really works. We've got roughly 20 seconds, just over 20 seconds to keep working. That 30 second rest is coming. 30 second rest is so close. Okay, coming up to those last couple of reps now, maybe two more each side, 10 seconds from now. You have got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Resting, resting, resting. 30 seconds to chill. That's one down, three to go. So we're going to go back into that first movement. So back into those eight dumbbell thrusters. Whew. Just enough time, sip of water, sweat towels where needed, where appropriate. Okay, now we get that focus again. Get those dumbbells ready. We move in five seconds from now. Sets in four, three, two, one. Let's go back into those dumbbell thrusters. Eight repetitions. Once you've hit that eighth rep, come join me, bent over rows. Back is beautifully flat. Really pinch the shoulder blades at the top of this move. Trying to keep that neck and spine in line at the same time. Lovely stuff. You should be roughly, might be roughly halfway through uh, those bent over rows now. Great tempo. Remember, this is our strength-based E2 mom. Control those movements. You've got plenty of time to get the three in. 
Nice work. Some of you might be coming towards the end of those bent over rows now. So then you're going to go into those reverse lunges. Stepping back and down. Stepping back and down. Keep that weight over that front leg. That front glute is burning. That front glute, that is the muscle we want to set on fire. Gorgeous stuff. 20 seconds from now. 20 seconds. This is beautiful. Okay. Maybe a couple more reps either side. Grind in a couple more reps either side out. 10 seconds now. In seven. We go in six, five, four, three, two, one. Resting. Nice work. 30 seconds to chill and try and recuperate as much energy as we can. <laughs> I'm guessing I've only done, only done a couple reps. Hoy, 20 seconds now. As always, last sips of water. Regain that focus. Coming up to that 10 second countdown. Thrusters for the third time. Moving in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Eight big thrusters. Bum down and punch. Bum down and punch. Trying to hit that full range. Locking out over, overhead. Once you hit that eighth repetition, Control, back goes beautifully flat, pinching shoulder blades, every single repetition. 12 big reps, 12 big, big reps. No rush, no race. Lovely tempo crew. Feel the squeeze in that muscle. All right, as we move past that 45 second marker, some of you might be going into those reverse lunges. You know the drill now. All professionals at this movement at this stage. Glutes, glutes, glutes. That is the focus. Okay, 30 seconds from now. 30 seconds. Now you bear with it. If you're totally exhausted, shake it off. Go again. This is your session, nobody else's. You move at your limits. You tickle your own personal limits. 20 seconds now, 20 seconds on the clock. Two more either side, maybe. 10, in nine. You've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Resting, superb. 30 seconds. <laughs> Rest one more time. You've got one more round. One more round and then we get a good two to two and a half minute rest before we move into our last and final section. <sighs> Calm, before the storm, 15 seconds. Here we go, focus. 10 seconds and we are in and on it. Get ready for those thrusters in five. We go four, three, two, one, let go. Power is from those legs. Beautiful, eighth rep. Bent over rows. Squeeze and breathe. Squeeze and breathe. Whew. I'm sweating in here. God knows what you guys look like. <laughs> tempo, tempo, tempo. Might be moving towards the end of those bent over rows now. We're just about to tick over that 45 second marker. So if you are there, get set for those uh, reverse lunges all the way until that 90 second mark. Back and down, back and down. Gently kissing the floor with that back knee. Superb. Okay, coming up to that 30 second countdown. 30 seconds from now, bear with me. That rest is coming, that rest is so close. You got two to two and a half minutes coming your way. 20 seconds now, 20 seconds. Pushing through that burn. Okay, a couple more reps either side. 10 seconds now. We go nine. In seven. In five, four, three, two, one. Resting. Resting, resting. Well played, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me uh, through that eight minute block. As promised, two and a half minutes, two to two and a half minutes to chill, just so you don't sue me. And then we're moving into our uh, 
Third and final section, part C of today. Again, is another eight minute E2, mom. Take 10, just to compose yourselves, and then I'll start wrapping through and demonstrating these movements. Okay, for the first two movements, we're gonna need those dumbbells again. 10 dumbbell cleans, power cleans. You're gonna clip the floor with those dumbbells as you come up, catch onto the shoulders. Back down to floor, up to the shoulders. Back down to floor, up to shoulders. The power is off the hips. Once you've hit your 10th repetition, we're gonna go eight push press. Dip and punch, dip and punch, dip and punch. Yes, slightly more shoulders. Once you've hit your eighth rep, Toss those out the way. Going to need a little bit of space. Chest to floor burpees. Little jump. Chest to floor, little jump. Gas yourself out all the way to the very end. You can play a little game on this one as it is our finisher. Make note of your reps of burpees. So on that first round, make a mental note of your score in repetitions. The second, third, and fourth round, we're going to see how close we can maintain to that original number. Okay, psych yourselves up, get yourself set and ready. As promised, we've just ticked over that two minute rest period. Take another 20 seconds, and then we'll get in and on it. 10 dumbbell cleans, eight dumbbell push press, max chest to floor burpees until that 90 second marker. Exactly the same drill as part B. 90 work, 30 rest, four rounds, 10 seconds. We are in and on. Whew. Seven seconds. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Up to shoulders, back down to ground. Up to shoulders, back down to ground. You're going 10 repetitions, 10 big reps. Okay, that's my 10th, hold on shoulders. We then go eight push press, eight reps. Dip and drive, dip and drive. Locking out overhead again. Once you've hit that eighth rep, we can then chop those weights out of the way. Chest to floor burpees for the remaining time. Chest to floor, little clap overhead. Chest to floor. Little jump and clap overhead. Find that rhythm, find that pace, find that intensity. You've got 30 seconds from now, 30 seconds. Hold that rhythm. Whoo! Gas in, gas in, gas in. 25 seconds from now. Bear with me at this stage. Set a decent standard on this first block. Coming up to those last couple of big reps. 10 seconds from now, 10 seconds. Can we push it? Can we push it? We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Resting. Hoy. 30 seconds to breathe and compose. Making a mental note of that score in burpees. We're now going to see how close we can maintain. I don't expect exactly the same. It's going to naturally deteriorate, but we just use it as a carrot. It drags yourself through this thing. Keeps us honest, keeps us pushing our own personal limits. You've got five seconds from now. Back in to those dumbbell cleans. 10 repetitions, we move in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Power off the hips, up to the shoulders. Create tension, up to the shoulders. 10 big reps of this first movement. Once you've hit that 10th rep, hold on to the shoulders, compose, push press. We're gonna go eight reps. Once you've hit that eighth rep, you can toss those weights down. We then take up the intensity, chest to floor burpees. Off the floor, quick clap. Off the floor, quick clap. Find that rhythm. Find that intensity. All right, we've got 30 seconds from now. 30 second big finish. Remembering that number from the first round. 
hunting yourself down. Nobody else says session but yours. You against you every single time. 20 seconds now. Hold that pace. Bear with me, 10. You've got to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Resting, breathe, rest, relax. Whew. Make a mental note of that dip, a score again. How close can we keep? <laughs> two down, two to go. Oi, oi, oi. Sips of water, sweat towels. Lord knows you need them. 10 seconds. Third round, coming your way. Back into the cleans. First two movements, same reps. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Power is off the hips. Power is off those hips. Rhythm, rhythm. Create that tension, pop it onto shoulders. Create that tension, pop it up to shoulders. As you're approaching the last couple of reps, get ready for that push press. Push press, you dip and drive, dip and drive. Be -E a beautiful work so far, guys. Stunning stuff. All right, some of you might be approaching those last couple of push press. Get ready to find that rhythm on those burpees. This is your third set out of four. All right, ticking through that 45 second marker. Now, that is your halfway mark. Finish off that push press and then find your rhythm. Chest to floor burpees. Fast off the floor, quick drive. Fast off the floor, little drive. 30 seconds from now, 30 seconds. Hold this energy. Can we hold this energy? Little bursts if you need to. Breathe and move, breathe and move. Split these movements up, break the repetitions down. 20 seconds now. As we move into the last 15, everybody can stick with me. We can keep moving. The body can keep ticking over. 10 seconds, just about. You've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Resting, oh my goodness. 30 seconds, breathe. Last and final. This is your sprint finish, your home stretch. Last set of each, and then we are done for the day. I'll leave you alone. You can rest and relax. 15 seconds. Find that focus. Get your mind ready, your mind right. One more time. 10. Wait till they're ready. We all start on that buzzer. We go five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Up to shoulders, create tension. Up to shoulders, create tension. Keep that rhythm. Once you hit that 10th rep, prep yourself. We then get into that push press. Dip and drive, dip and drive. Keep it strict, keep it powerful. Burst of energy. We're moving through that 30 second mark now. Some of you approaching the last couple of push press. Once you do so, chase that number. We chase that number from the first round down as fast as we can. Any ounce of energy you've got left, now is the time to use it. 45 seconds, empty the tank. 45, empty that tank. All right, now we're moving into the last 30. 30 seconds from now. Breathe and move, breathe and move. I know you're exhausted, I know you're fatigued. We are almost home and dry. Ticking over that 20 seconds. We tick over that 20 seconds. Okay, last and final burst of energy. 15, now. Keep that number from the first round back in your brain. How close are we? How close are we? You've got 10 seconds, now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Resting, resting, resting. Shake it off, walk it off, flop around on the floor. Do what you need to do. <laughs> Breathe and compose. Once everybody's ready, just take 20 seconds, totally to yourselves. Before we leave the classes, before we leave these sessions, just a moment to, uh, to appreciate what you've just accomplished, what you've just achieved. Once you've done so, if you wanna head back over to the app, aftercare is crucial. So take yourself through a nice uh, stretch and cool down um, with one of the other sessions. Otherwise, I've been Joe Corey. Thanks so much for sticking with me. See you later.